Hey guys! In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to change an ebook cover and turn it into a print cover. Um, so I'm going to be doing that with you guys. In this process, you're also going to learn how easy it is to resize your book cover. So like say if you have a book cover that you've been using, but your page count changed a little bit, um, you're going to be able to learn how to resize your, your book cover. Um, it is important to know that in this video, I'm going to be using the paid version of Canva. However, you can also do this using Microsoft Word. So you can actually just adjust the margins within Microsoft Word, which is a great free way to do it. And at the end of this video, I'll also show you guys the Microsoft Office way to, to resize an image. And so you'll have both ways. Um, but I do think that it's easier to plan out your book cover on Canva versus Microsoft Word. Like I would not in any way recommend creating your book cover on Microsoft Word. That would sound like a crazy hot mess. And if you are going to do that, good luck. <laughs> okay, so first you're going to need to go to the KDP cover calculator, which I find just by Googling. I do recommend bookmarking this page because this page is a lifesaver. I'm going to be putting a link in the description below. So what you're going to do is put in your book information and pay special attention to the size of the book and also the page count because that is going to determine what size cover you're going to need and if your book changes even by a page then you may need to resize so you can go ahead and download the template which i do and i highly recommend doing so first i take a screenshot of the template that i downloaded and this is going to help me for placement purposes. So I'm not obviously going to keep that on the screen the entire time that I'm working, but I am going to refer back to it and overlay that on top of the images that I'm using to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Okay, so when you look at this, um, it gives you the, the widths of everything, the heights, the margins, everything that you could possibly need. But what I want you to do is look at the very top for full cover. Width is 10.921, height is 8.25. That is what you're going to want to write down because when you go into whatever program you're using, those are the dimensions that you are setting for yourself. Okay, so I'm going into Canva. I'm going to create a design. Okay, so I'm going to put in the dimensions for the width and the height here. Okay, so I'm going to start by uploading the ebook cover that I already have, which is actually already uploaded into Canva, and then also that template that I just saved. You need to resize your image after you're done or even while you're working. That resize button on the top left is how you can easily do that, and you would just put in the dimensions just like we did when we set it up. And so again, this makes it super easy, but it is a paid feature, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so I usually start by going ahead and putting in the ebook cover right into Canva. And then when I think it's about halfway, then I like to put in the template that I had downloaded. And then what I'll do is change the transparency of it. And so now I know how far it's going into the spine. Okay, so I'm not a graphics designer, so I'm just going to let you watch what I do throughout the rest of this. The rest is unedited, but I did speed it up for you. So I'm literally just playing around until I find something that I like.
So this is the version that I'm currently thinking to go with. I would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Okay, so after uploading it into KDP, all I have to do now is approve the image. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in Microsoft Office. Okay, so I have opened up my old document. What I'm gonna do to resize this is I'm gonna go to layout, size, all the way down to more paper sizes. And this is where I'm going to be putting in the information. So And so if I wanted to use this cover, that's, that's basically how you would resize it. If I wanted to change the cover image, what you could do is you could go to change picture. And I think this is the easiest way that I know of. I do want to point out that like, I am not ready to sell this book yet. So this is just for my proof copies. Obviously I would spend way more time and effort into making sure everything is aligned perfectly, but for the purpose of what I'm doing, I think this is fine. And it's, Good to go, you're done. Um, so again, like you are gonna wanna make sure you're careful. Like this has like black down here. And so you could try to play with the image to see if you can get no black at all. And so I just kind of dragged it down. Um, but with that being said, like this is gonna make it where if you were to use this and you don't use Canva at all, you can't put that layer above it to make sure that you are within the margins and that the spine is correct. So I do recommend if at all possible, use Canva first because Canva is a lifesaver. You can do everything there. You don't have to do any resizing in Word. And it's just, you know that it's, it's within the margins and the spine is great. And so I just highly recommend if at all possible, use Canva. But I do know that like, especially if you're just starting out, this might be the better option for you. Um, but anyway, so what you would do is you save as Adobe PDF. Typically when you do this, you're gonna want to do print ready files. I do wanna point out that one huge reason why I am against Microsoft Word versus any other method is because when you go to print this, like, but there's no way for me to save a PDF print ready file. So this is just regular PDF files. And so in Canva, you can download a PDF print of your image that's RGB. RGB basically stands for red, green, and blue. I honestly don't even know what that really means. So the color just comes out a lot crisper and you can tell the quality is better whenever you go to print. And so I think that that in itself is a great reason because people are probably not gonna buy a book if the cover isn't good quality. Okay, so I thought it'd be fun if we played a game where if you can spot the typo on the cover, put that in the comments below. Okay, so I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you would like to join our family, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If there's something that you guys want me to cover that you're running into problems with, feel free to put that in the comments below. I hope you guys have fun with your covers and happy writing.